everyone. Uh, I just want to get on the um, online today and, and post this video. I have the best intentions to go to work today. Um, I was getting dressed, getting my hair done, and I just started feeling really hot all over. Um, I don't know if it's the flu or just my mind just being um, responding to all the trauma. I have been getting, uh, I got some sleep last night, the night before, I mean, I almost went like 12 full hours without sleep, getting ridiculous, because I'm starting to, my mind is starting to unwind, and things are getting more clear, and if they're not completely clear, then they're getting, it's getting to the point where I'm starting to see where the root of this is, and um, if I throw out names, because this is a very um, complex situation that I'm in, okay, which I really shouldn't be in. When I really think about this, this whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. But, so, I'm like down to 16 minutes on this camera right now, so I need to start really moving my, my lips. But I, what I'm dealing with is, I, I'm dealing with speculations and being put in a situation where I'm going to job interviews and being where, you know, people are doing all this. All this so-called, you know, retaliation, blacklisting, um, the, the name uh, flashing, all this stuff is uh, no fault of my own, okay? I am constantly, forever, having to deal with the burden, and, and I sh I'm shouldering a burden that I didn't create, okay? Um, at all, period, okay? So, I can't help but think that, you know, I'm blocked here, okay? I'm in a situation that is very uncomfortable, and I'm having certain thoughts in my head where I'm starting to speculate certain what-if scenarios. Now, I'm not, I have no confirmation of anything. But, you know, I'm starting to suspect some weird things are going on, okay? Because this town and a lot of other towns, but this town is, does not, clearly has absolutely no concept of what is right and what is wrong, okay? I talk about law enforcement. I talk about who's sitting here as mayor. I talk about city council. I talk about all of these people. I, I suspect that these people make up rules as they go along, okay? They don't follow the law, and I'm, I'm sorry they don't, okay? Um, I have had nothing but constant um, rights, and um, my voice has been silenced. And the only way I'm getting any sort of um, a recognition is for me to do these YouTube videos, okay? Because my life has basically been uh, just completely destroyed, decimated over something I had nothing to do with, okay? Now, there's what I'm starting to think, okay? I know that when I left here in 2007, 2007, I never took any uh, steps to get my marriage annulled from my husband, okay? Um, and I'm referring to Joel Graham, okay? I, I, never, I never took any steps to do that. Uh, we never went to court. We talked about it. We didn't. We just left it hanging, okay? So then when I came back here, we just moved back in and everything else was here. I suspect that somehow or another, I'm ending up getting involved in a relationship with somebody that I used to know from my, my years, and I don't want to, I'm going to throw out his name, and if he's not guilty, then great. You know, I will kind, I will retract this, okay? But if he is, and I, I don't mind if he is, whatever, but if he is involved in it, then, you know, if this scenario is true, because it's very important that I get this out, because if this scenario is true, during that time frame, somewhere within these, two, these, these, these time frame from 2000, I would say 2008, because I did communicate with him, I was communicating with people on Facebook, and I was touching base on issues that related to what we went through back then to try to, you know, get a conversation rolling. Okay, so... In that year, I never heard anything from him, okay? So I haven't heard from him, haven't talked to him at all, okay? I haven't heard anything. So I kept thinking maybe in some weird way, you know, my marriage illegally got, my marriage with Joel got dissolved, and somehow or another he or somebody manipulated something to make me marry to Steve Lyles, okay? If that's true. Now, I'm, I'm sharing this with you because I, I, I'm, I'm, going, I'm in a very tight spot here because if, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll explain that later. Okay, so I know I'm constantly being looked at strangely. I'm constantly being, and I, I know it's more than just race, okay? These people think they have something that they can hold against me, okay? There's so much that goes on in this town 
and, and around everywhere that there, this town is corrupt, okay? So anything can happen. I do not feel safe here, okay? When people involved in, in laws, these employment lawyers, okay, when this whole thing started, they should have recognized that this would, would be a case. They got fooled because they thought, well, my, my family was involved in it. It doesn't matter. What actually occurred, may I start off as a joke with them, okay? But what these employees, employers were doing was outright racism, okay? Like I said, everybody responded to this situation for their own reasons. So if a black person was to say or, or act, act out on me for an issue, they may be doing it because they thought I was a race traitor, okay? For a white person to be doing it, they, they're, they're feeling threatened by their privilege, okay? So everybody had their reasons for doing what they were doing, okay? So it spiraled into a fucking chaotic, I don't know what, okay? Idiotic, fucking stupid, okay? So I'm basically dealing with a lot of chaos that I had nothing to do with, okay? So my family... Always on Facebook, um, Steve Wiles uh, conjured up these people, all these people, conjuring up all kinds of speculations or creating dramas that I'm not aware of. Now, none of these people have contacted me. I can't get my sister to even respond to a desperate plea for, to give me donations, okay? These people have basically left me to die. My concern is, has anybody sought any sort of um, compensation on my behalf, or benefited from any sort of work that I have accomplished by through surveillance or whatever. And if that's the case, these people have left me out in, in a very awkward situation because you know they may have made it so that I can, I don't have any rights to get work published that I want published or produced. Okay, they may have put in a system in place where um, they want permission. I don't have to do that. Okay, the court systems should have known that. Okay, and the court system don't know that. They have no idea, okay, that all of this stuff should never be happening. If I'm not the one who is appearing in court, if I'm not the one who's there, it doesn't make any sense, okay? And if there is any sort of compensation, that money should be directly to me, okay, because of my hardship. Okay, now I have all these weird employers getting pissed off at me. I don't even know what's going on at all. Okay, I'm just getting speculation based off what people say, and when I go to bed at night, my brain processes it and spits it back out. And this is what I'm coming up with. Okay, so my concern is I'm in a state of destitution. Okay, so if this was true, if this is true, if we were somehow in some weird way, I was married to Steve Wiles, and I'm not his, his wife, then I need to get moving or something. Something needs to, something needs to happen. How am I going to do that? What, what, what am I supposed to do? I have no money. Am I supposed to wait around for some sort of cash payout? Nobody had any right to act on my behalf. And also, I wanted to talk about how sometimes, and I'm getting, you know, because this town really, they don't know, they don't know, yes, Bakersfield is being educated by a black woman. Humbly accept that, okay? It's really important. Um, that, um, what was I going to say? That they think that, like, let's just say, for example, okay, she may be deserving of money, but she's not Christian. Some sort of stipulation like that, that is more bullshit because we already know that's a form of discrimination. There is no reason to put stipulations upon a person being able to have the money that they are deserving of. Okay? If the, the issue is, if I was discriminated based on my religion, okay? If I was discriminated against my religion, to say that I have, in order to obtain my religion, I have to, my, my cash payment, I have to do this, 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 and this, that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's like circular. It's foolish, okay? Or if they say, well, you know, we'll give her the money, but she has to be with this particular person. That's another step. It's not. The, the issue is, stay on focus. The issue is a discrimination issue, whether that be I'm discriminated based on my race or my religion, okay? They're not. And there's proof that I was. Okay, so, period. It's, it's, it's a done deal. It doesn't go any further than that. So when the cash gets doled out, it doesn't need to be dispersed to my family if the Lyles are involved. Uh, um, it doesn't need to be dispersed to their family. Okay, these sort of things need to be worked out, and I'm the one who's supposed to be dealing with it. So, um, yeah, the entire town of Bakersfield should be sued. Okay, they really should. And if it's going to be like that, and in all actuality, it should have been a Supreme Court case. You know, that's how big and foolish this really is, okay? And, and, it, and it just, it boggles my mind. Okay, meanwhile, I'm sitting here with no job. I mean, yeah, the job, I, I'm very grateful to have some provisions, but I don't consider it a job. I have no job, okay? And if there's money, I'm not handling my money. 
Okay, so people are thinking, well, you know, Marie, you're kind of a minimalist. Um, I don't think you handle your money well. Let me tell you, this shit happened over at o uh, Organized Sports, and during that time period, these people made me broke. I was paying on all my bills. I had to do a lot of catch-up work, okay? This whole situation has left me in financial destitution. So this tragedy that you see, which I call my house, is because it is a direct result of the constant lose a job, wait a few months, get another job, get a rack out of another job, get another, and this whole thing, this mobbing thing is real, okay? We already know what it is, okay? And so these people don't take no for an answer, so the mob then feels justified in going into another direction like the court system and then demanding reparations or something on my behalf. They are involved. They don't need to be involved, okay? Whether that be his family, my family, the Collins family, like I said, everybody got involved for their own reasons. All wrong. Okay? And yes, do I think that Steve Lyles is possibly a stalker? Yeah. Okay? And I would like to say really quick that, you know, when I was a young girl, I had this big crush on Steve Lyles. Okay? I saw him one day and I just thought, he's so adorable. So, I remember going, um, you know, around, who's that guy? Do you know that guy? And they were like, oh, here's Steve Lyles. You know? They're like, oh, okay. So, of course, you know, I was just this awkward kid, right? So, I remember, like, you know, calling his house, you know, and his mom, with, with her sweet little voice, answering the phone, and I click, you know. I remember that stuff. I totally remember that stuff. And I also remember, like, you know, going, walking all the way from the east side to the west side, so I can browse unnecessarily at pick and fix you know, for hours, waiting for him to start a ship, and then I would go to, you know, the Kmart Cafe, and then order, like, a plethora of, like, ices that have long lost its flavor, all so I could see Steve White, okay? I remember that. And when you really think about that sort of behavior, believe it or not, it's a form of stalking, okay? So, you know, it takes one to know what. But I, uh, you know, unlike Steve Blouse, if he is indeed involved in my stalking, and this is just not some uh, psychotic blabber, I mean, I'm psychotic, but, you know, I mean, just based on the information that I'm receiving outside and it's regurgitating and this is the stuff that I'm outputting. Um, if, if he is, yeah, dude, like, I guess touche, I guess, you know, but you know, a little little too far. Okay, so this issue is, um, stalking is a very common problem. Like I said, if I used to do it, okay, but now it's gotten to the point where it just gets, it's just completely evasive, okay. One thing is true that, you know, um, whether this, man, you know, Steve Lyles is married to me or not, he still has no right to have possession of anything that I do, okay? Um, that needs to be agr agreed upon, and I'm supposed to be present, okay? Um, so, basically, and, and he may have that kind of clout among people because he's white, okay? And that's another issue that I don't like bringing up, but it's true, okay? I mean, white privilege is reigned supreme here in this town. It's ridiculous, and it's illegal, okay, believe it or not. So, I'm already dealing with a court system, lawyers or whatever, if this, if this scenario is true, which I believe their foundation is based on ignorance, okay? I'm sorry. I hate to offend people. I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody in this town, okay? But it's been proven over and over and over again. Okay, that's why you have people like Laura Hill getting other jobs, okay, while people like me are wondering about tomorrow. Because believe me, if I'm supposed to leave from point A to point B, how am I supposed to do that in confidence? I'm going to be constantly worried, am I going to be homeless? You know, because the, the situation is right now that this is what these people have done. So people would think, well, you know, can't you ask somebody, a friend or something? These people are not working in my best interest. At least I don't think that they are. So I, I have concerns. And yes, they keep me up at night. And yes, it wears me down. And it is extremely tiresome. So nobody has the right to choose which profession. This, for example, they were saying, well, we'll do her out the money, but she can't make you know, I say, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. There are no stipulations. It's illegal to do that. You know, I mean, that's my biggest issue. I can't find an accounting job that's willing to pay me what I'm worth. I can't even find any job that, that I, I want. That's my choice, okay? I, I can't live where I want to live. Okay, this has destroyed my life. So I'm asking the mayor of this town, Harvey Hall, again. Clean it up, okay? You need to get some, do something in that court system if that isn't the case if that is a truly the case, because I'm getting nervous, okay? I, I don't trust anything anymore, okay? I, I'm basically marked for destruction, just based on the ignorance of the system and how the whole thing is rolling out. And really, as I said, it really should be a Supreme Court case. It really should have. I tried to be right and fair because I realized I was dealing with ignorance, okay? I can tell. My first day here, I, I was referred to a, 
white girl as colored, and you know, she was just asking all kinds of asinine questions, and I knew I was basically fucked, okay? So I know that I have to be very careful about what I say and do around these people because they don't understand things. They don't, okay? The, everything that people, all those jokes that people make about Bakersfield, I hate to say it, but it's true. You can look at me all you want to, you can scoff at me in town, you can sit there and say, well, I don't want to be your friend, that's fine, I'm telling the truth, okay? I don't, I don't want to be insulting, but it's true. There's some nice people in this town, but you know what? I can't, and it is what it is, okay? So, I'm expressing my thoughts. Once again, Harvey Hall, the ball's in your court, because I, I, I don't know what to do. Wrap up this video.